Well, I, I gave a talk about the history of functional programming, in particular the, the evolution of functional programming languages, how we got to where we are now. I, I'm a professor at the University of Kent and I've been researching functional programming languages actually since 1972. So I've seen a lot of the history of the subject and it seems to be interesting to people who are using, say, Erlang or Haskell now to see the history that came behind that, the, the ideas that flowed from it. And this is a really interesting conference for me to talk at because it's a mixture of commercial and academic uh, talks and commercial and academic people. So you don't often get that, both those kinds of people in one conference. So yeah, we hear people talking about like something like Lisp, Closure, Haskell. Uh, so yeah, there is a lot of, uh, maybe one of the conferences that has a lot of languages, like a different language, talking a lot of different languages that are not particularly are used in, in industry, right? Yes. So, and also in very interesting applications, like someone's using Facebook, using Haskell to program Facebook, uh, functional languages being used in, in financial services to do trading. It's fascinating to me to see the way people are using these tools. Well, th thank you very much, David, for... You're very welcome. Thank you.